I want to go get more diamond. So we're going to bring the prawn suit back to the cave. Yeah, I understand. To answer Rage's question he had, yes, it reattaches when you come out. What do I want? Beacon manager? Don't have one. Yep, as soon as I came off, it just hooked right back up. Oh, hello. The vent garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Never seen a full grown one yet. Cannot just swim inside of it though. <laughs> I got my max capacity tank. So that's fun. I was just trying to and noticing that I can't. I was kind of just saying, oh, I can't do that. Because it wouldn't let me. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Pile damage imminent. It's alright. It's alright. There's a big old quartz crystal. Juveniles again. We're looking for some lights. Lead us down. This is true. I just tried to swim into it. Like, straight into it. I think it was more like 400 meters from the base, not 600, where I was finding the lights. Lots of gold over here. I do need gold. Yeah, I didn't want to spend too much time with it. I'm sure I'll see another mature vent guardian eventually. This looks right. Lights around here somewhere, going down. Do I have a... Uh... Oh my, hello. not normally out this far. Yeah. I just hadn't seen one until now. Have 
Will you just fuck off? Huh? You're not supposed to be here. You can't swallow me. Go away. I'm just back at my base. Oh, hey, can I fix it from inside? No. That would be nice if I could fix it from inside. Tene fruit is pretty good. Health, food, and oxygen. Okay. I'll take it. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Until you start to grow antenna. Disagree. I'm, I'm all for growing some antenna. so close to here. Oh, I don't have a beacon. Oh, I do have a beacon. I do have a beacon. Okay. Not that it matters. I guess I'll never need to come back to this site once I've found it one more time. Because I'm going to get every last piece of everything out of it with the storage I have on my prawn suit. Uh, three storage mods and a jump mod. Um. Hey. Whatever you want, game. I remember the... Here we go. The lights. We're close to the inland. There we go. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Wait for it. Wait for what's this? Didn't see this opening before, did I? Hello, diamond. This is just going to go back up and out now. This 
is also you can explore natural caves. Oh, hey, there's a diamond. Is, but I don't think I can get it. Spawned in the wall. Or drifted into the wall. One of the two. Trust me, we have room. Almost. Think you're so tough? Huh? Yeah. Who's tough now, huh? He started it. I finished it, but he started. Feels like water goes down faster in this game. Lots of titanium down here. Alright, well, since I'm mindlessly drilling, I'm just gonna turn the camera off for no apparent reason whatsoever. Storage has no room for this item.
Drilling for gold, drilling for gold. Conductive gemstone composed of aluminum oxide. Be where the red color comes from. Oh hey, I got a plasma cutter that I can cut this thing with now. I happily trade one titanium for a power cell. Like, any day of the week. Titanium it is. Or titanium. Don't needs the titanium. Titanium, titanium, titanium. Oh, diamond. Ruby, diamond. Okay. This is what we came for.
I kind of wish the prawn was all for storage modules now. But I've got like an entire cupboard full of uh, titanium and and refined titanium in that same cupboard. So just, there's quite a bit in there. I can afford to bring back all diamond and ruby and some gold. And copper, I think I have some too. A couple pieces. Pardon me, sir. <laughs> Just let me reach down in there. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Gold was one of the things on my list. And diamond. Not high on the list, but... Highest on my list right now is magnetite. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go deeper for that, so we're just gonna have to explore some new locations. Luckily, I've got a couple alien tablet locations marked that I can go check out. We'll bring some of my cubes with me in case I need to power anything. Oh, Needlack. You should be able to answer this. Based on the UI, it seemed possible to me can I pop one of the ion cubes in my bioreactor and have it just provide power? Still gold here, and I've. Woo. Okay, well, let's do this. I can eat, drink, pick up two more pieces of gold. Okay, I think that's all the gold. So all I've left here is now a ton of titanium. Me too, but then when I looked at its details in, uh, like, the reactor screen, it shows that it can provide, like, a lot of energy. I was like, really? And I didn't want to risk putting one in there, because I, right now I kind of need the ones I have. But it seemed like an interesting idea. Not in the wiki, and I've seen some chatter that there are no ion cube printers like at the end of the first game. 
That sucks. They probably make them non-spendable in silly ways then. But you can still softlock yourself if you, like, drop them and have no idea where you left them. I saw somebody complain that you could hypothetically soft lock because of that. That's unfortunate. There's a little art to docking it. I like it. Very prone suit. Oh, yeah, 500 meters west of the base. Going dark. Hopefully being dark doesn't draw any attention. That sounds like one of the chompy boys, not the big boys. I don't think that big thing's a fish, by the way. I got up close to it. It looks more like a giant crustacean. Get out and throw a flare? Yeah, that's an interesting idea. Oh, I... I don't have enough inventory to deal with that. However, you know what? I'm gonna park the truck. Mm, here. Oh, cool. That's right. Are there a pair of appendages in front of the mouth in arachnids and some other arthropods usually modified as pincher like claws? Yeah, so it's an arthropod. I was correct. We can build a second drill arm. Got no use for that grabby arm. Five titanium, lithium, and four diamond? Four diamond is easy now. I don't know if taxonomy maps that well. It's got plates. It's got all the key features of an arthropod. Yeah, we got ruby. In fact, we've got so much that if we don't spend some, we can't hold all of our ruby and diamond. Uh, maybe I'm a little lower than I thought on that. I could put salt here, yeah. Salt's kind of a food thing. Where do I put it? Went here. Oh, you do that.
Well, that creature in particular does also have uh, a hard exoskeleton, like a chitin. It's very, very crustacean y. Kinda terrifying. Ooh, I got gold! Oh, I got gold. Okay. Oh, I got more ruby here still. Okay. What to do? I've got a success problem. No, what are you doing? There you go. Quartz and two titanium. Or so oh, I can't. Gotta put stuff away first. What am I gonna put over there? Diamond. Quartz. Pretty sure the game spawns super leviathans to hunt you if you go out of bounds because something with plates that was literally island sized <laughs> was circling me. There I am with not a single tool, just treading water at the surface. Sounds exciting! In a, oh my god, what have I done? I regret every decision sort of way. Gold and table coral tend to be used together. Where do I have room maybe for... I can probably fit my diamond in here? You not get the entire creature in your viewport. It was too big and too close with 105 horizontal field of view. I did not mean to get in this thing. Come on, grab me. There you go. Sounds like a big boy. There. We've emptied the prawn suit and had to build another cupboard for storage. We got two extra power cells for crafting. Mm, everything's charged. I see. It shows the charge and power level even in this screen. Okay. Hey, Talisha, welcome. How's your Monday? Inactive? You consumed all your goody goodies. Here you go, have some more goody goodies. Yes, active. You're in a good mood, excellent. Excellent. Uh, you're Full and done. Let's let's take some of you. Yeah, I used one. Let's take two. I used one. Build up a little bit of a stock. 
There. Let's uh see if I caught any Hey board, welcome! See if I caught any good eaten fish that I can cure. Ooh, I got three good eatin's fish. Come here, you you're getting salted. Mm -mm -mm. Use good eating. Come here. Yes. <laughs> Aww. I hate losing my save. I feel for you, Needlack. I uh, was wondering the name I've been wobbling. I finally remembered who the artist who drew the titty art from Exalted is. Gotcha. I'm horrible at remembering names of people. Like, like the worst. Like recalling like names that I know. Like I can't do it. I try to say somebody's name, I've said it a million times, and just in that spot I'm just like Oh, I'll get back to that. I'll get back to that. <laughs> Been driving you nuts for a year. Oh, I'm glad you remembered. That would put me in a good mood too. That would drive me nuts. I wouldn't be able to sleep at times trying to think about it. That's what the internet's for. That's a learning disability at work? Hmm. Huh. Only found one sleeper module. I really want a sleeper module. I don't really get what the aquarium's for, but... I guess you can bring fish with you to... turn into food? Oh, name recall blanking is a learning disability. I could see that. I've always been bad at it too. It's not just that I smoke a lot of pot. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Because <laughs> you can't remember names. Uh, I can't express how happy that actually makes me. <laughs> uh, what am I even doing now? I don't know what I'm doing. Going to take notes. Okay. I don't know which one of these two it told me about first. <laughs> okay. 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 Ports and two. Two titanerums. The jukebox lets you listen to music in your base. No one said survival couldn't be funky. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns within it. Is it mathematical? An instrument of science? Does it help with your research? It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math. Harmonies can be math. But music as a whole is more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. I sense it has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by music. We make music, and we're moved by it. Not oh, everything food. is about control, Alan.
Eating all these shrub nuts helps. They're my my number one water source right now. Getting pretty good at that. <laughs> Big boy base. <laughs> that still pleases me. Most of it is fan music, so I'm assuming it's all licensed for, uh, safe to use. That's what I'm trying to say. We're off on an adventure! Now we're off on an adventure. <laughs> let's go do something dangerous. Wait. Now let's go do something dangerous. Yes. Go away. Things sure are smashy and stompy in here. Ooh, lithium. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, I jammed hard to the limited set of tracks in the January edition. Can't find an explicit reference to the stream safety. Fair? What are you? Eh. You're titanium. I really wish the truck had a storage of its own. I need a trailer for it. Sure, there's a trailer eventually. Bonk. I think I can run suit through there, no problem.
I'll just borrow that, Mr. Sea Monkey. Thank you. Apparently, sea monkeys come from eggs. Chip mark. Yeah, just punch it. There you go. There we go. Gotta get better at the hover. Where has the marker for... There it is. to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, well thank you. Never know what's in my thing though. Silver, not in the least. Pilot docking module. Oh, you can pilot the docking module and dock it this way onto the vehicle. I just get into the truck and back the truck into it blindly. Oops. How do humans function with such inefficient bodies? Over the course of millennia, architects have crafted and perfected our forms based on the species we have observed and emulated. As long as we can shift ourselves into another vessel, we cannot truly die.
That's deep. <laughs> Oh, it's one of you guys. Go away. No, really go away, because I need to scan that. That did a good chunk of damage. Please don't come back while I'm fixing it. Sleeper module. Attacking the chompy boys up there, I think. <gasps> More sleeper module? And I see a... Uh... Yay, sleeper module. One of these things. What do you have in you? Booster tank. New blueprint synthesized. Right on. I have no idea what that is. Cyclotron. Just kind of stumbled upon one. He is right there, huh? Is it just me or do those guys seem always angry? Hey, Snow, how's it going? He was coming for me! He was straight coming for me there! Welcome, Snow. I almost got eaten. That guy's a jerk. You're a big crustacean jerk. Piss off, big crustacean jerk. I'm back out to scan. You know, I bet you I can make the depth module for the... Um... Whatever it's called. Prawn suit now. You're good. I'm doing well. Had a nice busy day at work. Day went well. Didn't get eaten by a giant crustacean, so that's a plus. Of course, he tried to digest me, 
So that part kind of sucks. But, you know, giant crustaceans. What are you going to do about it? Go, 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 in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you just about had enough? Because I've just about had enough. Oh, there's a whole bunch of lithium there. Depth are we 200? Okay for now. We got a ways to go. The prawn suit won't make it that far. We got to go back. We need more depth. Going to OT tide at three. Sounds tense. Love a good playoff OT. The best hockey. Unless you actually want one of the teams to win. Then it's just stressful as all hell. See a lot of lithium, but... I got chompy boys around now. Much easier to deal with than giant crustacean. See how it goes. I got repair tool already. Okay, let's get out. Repair. Already? Come on, guy. This kid, just leave me alone for two seconds, would you? Come on. I'm trying to fix this shit. You're biting it. Yeah, that's right. Go away. Chill out. You just grab my lithium in peace. So I'm good. But I'm being harassed right now. So, you know. Pros and cons. Oh, hey, there's another piece I missed right there. Knew I saw another one. Parked right on top of it. I guess I didn't park on top of it. He just moved my truck by biting it. Leave my truck alone. So let's go build the sleeper cab. We can build the sleeper cab. We can probably get some more depth modules. He just bit it again. Took 6% of its hull off. Still haven't found magnetite, but I've fulfilled my lithium need, really, so it's just nickel, lead, and magnetite that I really need at this point. Welcome aboard, Captain. Depth mark one. Oh, synthetic fibers. I haven't found the red swirl, whatever. Red coiling thingy, my bobber. 
You are constantly empty, huh? Board's getting ready for several mini heart attacks. That sounds accurate. Booster tank, use oxygen to give a speed boost. Eh? N no? Okay, so let's pin some blueprints here. We got three new ones. Oh, you're too loud now, though. There you go. That's better. I don't want you that loud. And that's... We got the Recyclotron. Recycles items into their constituent parts. Interesting. So you can soft lock yourself by making Recyclotrons at too many bases. That seems like poor design. I'm just not going to make one, because it seems kind of useless. Rooms... Okay, so what do we need? We've got Mark 1, we need... Sea Truck Depth Mark 2. Two synthetic fibers, prawn soup depth mark one we need, which is also synthetic fibers. Benzene. Uh, it's just that the left ear is much louder than the right ear. You're probably just not great headphones. I can see that the levels are different. It's because the jukebox is to the left of my character. Flowering spore and ribbon plant. Right, I needed ribbon plant. And eventually we need to find young cotton anemone. But I don't have those yet. I don't need hydrochloric acid, but I need the benzene. And I need spiral plant clippings. Benzene is for this, right? Yeah. Okay, so... I think they're in the prawn suit. Look at them all! Can't plant the root pustules. Seek fluid intake. They're not the thing that we need. Vital signs stabilizing.
getting there. Five. Can you not hear my voice? Can you not hear the words that I'm saying? I explained to you what was happening at the time. Just making sure you can hear me. I showed you my gel sack. Please respond. Now I can make it in your right ear only. Now you can hear the left ear only. Now the right ear only. Now the left ear only. Make sense? Okay. We got lots of diamond, we got lots of gold. Even got lots of lithium now. Nickel lead magnetite, and we need to find those spiral plant clippings. We gotta test lots of plants. And I need ribbon plant. Ribbon plant's a little easier to get. Oh, and I wanted to make... Look at the blueprints. Let's go up and do that right now. Let's make a sleeper cab. Oh, do I have the lead? I do not. All right. I need lead. That is every s tag we can have. That's the stuff we're building next. So important note. You can do this. I have not added a thermal reactor yet, no, because the thermal reactor requires kyanite to build. And I am not nearly that deep yet to find kyanite. Oh, no, not you. You. Like this, and I have... Found in kelp caves contains highly. Oh! Maybe? Yeah! Okay, they're energy. See how long that lasts. Yeah, you munch on those nuts. There we go. Full of nuts. Take one more water. Oh, thermal reactors. I was thinking the thermal reactor for the thing. Uh, no, I have not added more yet. No, no, we have not built more thermal reactors. I, I follow what you're saying. But we're pretty good on power. We'd be fine. Both of these are usually active. We've got one thermal. We never run out of power. We'll eventually go nuclear. Let's turn on the drop pod and head over that way. Because there's lots of ribbon plant over that way. And we gotta plant some. Just gonna start a whole bed of it.
Yes, I'm aware I left the rest of my truck behind. I did not want it. Him, gold. Okay. We are getting into areas where we will find ribbon plant. Other various things that we may need. Really? Fine, if you're going for food, I'll leave you alone. back here All right, you better run oh I didn't scan that scanned everything else give me my tight titanium room There's some ribbon plant right there. And table coral. Might as well grab it while I'm here. Woo! Audio, no audio, no interested. Saw the shadow. Bruins one thirty nine seconds into OT. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I've got all the seeds I need. That's unfortunate. Can't go to you yet. Got the seeds I need. There's a ribbon plant. We can go back. And build that up now. Bonk. And then we can go check out that other cache spot and hopefully go. that'll take us to a biome that has the ribbon plant, whatever we're looking for. Go out, Arctic Peeper. Oh good, you went under me. There seems to be a lot of large crustacean life in the north of this planet. Kind of leviathan-y looking. I 
Also kind of has like a... Um... Squid beak. Do I need anything? Oh, I should plant my garden before I go, though. Do I have titanium on me? Two pieces. I need to get one. Where'd it go? Missed it. Uh, maybe I'll set the scanner to lead, too. Inventory full. Okay, uh, put that back, put that back, grab one of those and go. Two? One or two. Uh, before I actually get out there... Exterior. Oh, I don't need any more. Okay. Misremember. There we go. A ribbon plant. There we go. Got a bit of that. Got a little marine garden going on here. Now we will redirect to this one. Oh yeah, I was going to scan for uh, lead. Oh well. Chomp. What are you? A newt fish. Hello, little predator.
Red spiral clippings. And of the rooted pustules, I think they're called. And quite a ways, huh? Let's park the truck up here. What are you now, huh? You just ate that thing. <laughs> okay, glad I saw that. No park. Right here. No. That looks good. That thing got you so many times in January. Spiky trap. Oh, I see. Hey, hey. You jerk! I will drill your spikes off! Dodging a squid shark naked, one of those grabbers gets you instead. Rip. Rip. You do not scan and or nothing. landscape. Dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Okay. Oh, I haven't scanned a rib yet. Another time in a separate cave, you're intent on gathering your resources and just yoink takes you as you swim over. Rip. <laughs> Again. Seems other than that scan. There just ain't much down here. Still too far. You jerk. Good for now. Appreciate. I'll find it. I don't know. It just happens. 
when you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? Okay. I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Hmm. Wonder if they might be on land. Something I missed there. That is about that point in the progression. And I haven't been back to... Robotics Place. To look for the cure that I found one time. In quite a long time. Sure, go for it. About 100 to 400. That was where I had originally assumed it would be. Now. Oh, right. I've, I've already discovered that artifact. What? Why does it still have a plus by it? Wrong artifact? Give you more than one place. Yep, yeah, enjoy your multiplayer. Thank you for the tips. Silver? Copper. That's copper. And this seems like a biome I haven't seen before. Hello. Yeah, 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 you're here. I get that. Get into the safety suit! There is big boy base from here.
I don't even know. Yeah, this is just out. This is where he's usually swimming out in the distance. It's right over this. Uh, I guess I'll take more diamond. I definitely don't need more ruby. I like lithium. Gonna go past crush depth for my poor. It is, isn't it? With this artifact, I am again able to oh, trace what? the imprint. Of 20 my meters. They survived for a time. Oh, it's gonna keep going though. Then their presence becomes faint. So I do need more depth for that. I should be able to drill you while you're doing this. There we go. I got some shots on. There you go. Yeah, get drilled. How do you like that? You didn't, did ya? Please repair quicker. I wish I had a grappling arm. Gotta find those rooting pustules. He's a big boy. Sure. Go ahead and drill the copper. Much copper. Okay. More copper there. Yeah. Red wart. You edible at all? 
really? Creep vine. We got creep vine growing. Canium there. Let's go meet up with the sea truck. Got enough copper. Okay, so he's been eating this thing. There's glow whales over here. Let's go check the glow whale habitat. We haven't looked around there thoroughly enough yet. Good shark. The anemone. Oh, hey! A wreckage. There's your way in right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks good. Small predator. We have a massive air tank, so we should be okay. What was that? Reactor rod. Right on. I'll take that. Power cell. Duke disc. It's like Christmas every time I pull out the welding torch. The cutter. Oh, scan it. Oh, nice. My third PPU. Take that. The only door? Feels like there should be more. Guess it's not that big of a piece.
Your phone died, but you're back now. Well, we missed you, but welcome back. How's that? How's that? You didn't miss much. Just me exploring random places, coming across random things, not really finding what I need. But finding stuff. Hello, squid shark. Please don't squid shark me. Thank you. So I have a small ethical problem with this game, Snow. You see, they want to make it non-violent. And yet, at the same time, they go and make glow whale eggs. The best bioreactor fuel. I don't want to put glow whale eggs in my bioreactor. The poor glow whales. First good night board. So our primary goal right now is to cruise around at 100 to 300 meter range. So we're right at 150 right now. And look for something called red spiral clipping. Well, it'll be called red spiral planta or whatever but we will take a clipping of it. I should repair my poor sea truck. It's kind of beat up. Kind of really beat up. The hell keeps eating my sea truck. Hey, it's my base. Oh, hey, it's another ship. There's our way in this one. Is that glow whale? Do I hear glow whale? Glow whale! Hey buddy! How's it going? Ooh, is that so? I don't think you were here for it, Snow, but you can ride the glow whales. You swim up on top of their head and press E and you can like hunker down on top of them and ride them as they swim around.
Seems like a big chunk of boat. I realize it's a spaceship. It's still a space boat. Ship. Boat. It's a space boat. Mercury 3. How do I get into you, Mercury? Two? Might even be a two. Brown suit there. That's a way in. Put our cutter on. Oh hey! I will absolutely take Chinese potatoes. Let me quickly go and pop some stuff in. Never thought you'd be so happy to find potato seeds, huh? Another reactor rod. Lily pad root? Okay. But no rooting pustules on you, huh? Betting the lily pad roots are gonna be where I find them. Yeah, yeah, welcome to the Prawn Hub. Going deep. I mean, we're only 245 meters deep right now, but we'll get deeper. Don't you worry. This is just the tip. <laughs> How's it going, Dank? Welcome. <laughs> See, here's the Prawn Hub. Yeah. We'll finish scanning. We still need to find an aquarium module, and we still haven't found, like, the two most important things that we need right now. Is red spiral clipping. And, oh, yeah, I can cut you open. Excellent. Christmas door. So how have you been, Sir Dank? How was your Monday? Monday, yeah, it's Monday. Monday's over. Man, today went fast. I like days that go fast. It means you were busy doing something. Well, aren't we just a gigantic room? God. Hello, forever ship. Orion's belt this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No. I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land. 
rigid, and cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined mm. crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the Mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. That's unfortunate. I hate it when people do stuff like that. Chinese potato. I've got enough of them. You know what? I've even got enough without this one. One is enough. Truly one Chinese potato is enough. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every xenolinguist dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, <laughs> which means civilization, and civilization means dun -dun -dun -dun, language. Oh, man. And now, most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug and die in his ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Why must I run out of water so fast? Welcome, Rage! We found this giant shipwreck. Uh, a reactor fragment? Or, um, a reactor rod. So far. Uh, the log from the captain that explained why the ship went down. This ship is from the before time. Oh, we got our third parallel processing unit. We can build those now. We have tons of ribbon plant back at the base growing. That's taken care of. We still need red spiral clipping. We've been told by the Needlac it's 100 to 300 meters deep. So right where you would expect it to be based on the progression path of the items. Uh, 
That's a good lead. It is. It is. Give me water. Cut the door. Found a door to cut. Another way in. Power cell. I'll take power cell. Water? Eh, wiring kit. I mean, I guess it starts with a W at least. It's close enough. Please help me! I need water! Wiring kit? Oh, oh! Uh, while you were gone, we've found what we, uh, the last of the blueprints for the sleeper cab. But I need lead for it. Just you. Trust me, shark, you don't want none. Oh, uh, that's an exciting thing that we found in there. Chinese potato. Something to plant at the base for much better uh, food return than what we currently have planted. And a stiff ass shoulder. Ooh wee. Alien power cable. And we have a ton of diamond, and we have a ton of ruby, and we have a ton of gold, and we have lots of lithium. I've I've done farmed up. Work. Okay. I done farmed the farmins that needed to be farmed. Oh, it's a big dead lily pad. Okay. Getcha. Oh, I turned it off. Let's go back to base. We've got two full inventories. No, not drop pod. We also got the unintentional hint from Needlack that he felt silly 
when he found the red spiral clipping. <laughs> can be found everywhere On second thought. Oh, and to show you, yes, by the way. Did you notice? Instantly hooked right back up. Titan or a mingot. I'll just keep making them. We'll fit it all in that one. Cook my newt fish. Mmm. Mm. Oh. See, lots of diamond, lithium. We need more lead. Like, really bad. Lots of ruby, lots of sulfur. Those I know what to do with now. Lots of reactor rods. Oh, lots of power cells. I do not need so many power cells. I only need one with me. We have so many extra now. Put the salt over here, because it's for food. And my water's out. You finished while we were gone? Yes. How are you doing? Active. Pop those in. Eat my horse nuts. How do I get rid of it? There we go. <laughs> I'll leave one on. Don't care about the lantern fruit plant. How are you doing? You haven't even been touched. Guess they don't go in parallel. So many fish in the trap.
Make another grow bed. I don't really need more than one in here. I don't see anything else that really needs a reload, do I? No, I don't. Battery. Uh, put the diamond away. No, oh, that's copper. Lithium's over here. So is diamond. Oh my. Nickel, you go somewhere else. We're here. Ruby. Keep the cube on me just in case I ever need to unlock something. Get some more stuff. You do flashlight and scanner to be optimal. Eh, they recharge so, uh, they use energy so slowly it doesn't matter. It's to the point where I've got to, like, stop looting stuff because I'm turning into a goddamn hoarder. Somebody's got to slap me. One piece of gold, and it can stay there because it'll bug me. Just to bug me. You stay and bug me. Uh. That looking rubber? I don't need you for anything. Okay. You say so there, game. One too many. Or alternatively, you could just make more storage. I have so much storage as it is, though. <laughs> oh, I have table coral with me. I put that over here. Ah! <clears throat> Fine. You go here. This is your home now. Please don't be full, thank you. Med pack. <laughs> we have a quantum locker here. I think I have to take it with me at some point. I'm not sure when or where though. Okay, we literally need nothing except for those rooting pustules. Miss it? Where'd it go? Never had this much trouble hooking up before. There we go. Thank you.
What are you? Tornado plates. There's one of the big boys. Have you seen a full-size, uh, Vent Guardian yet? Oh my god, the clippings are inside of it, aren't they? Oh yeah, it's a big boy. Spiral plant. One down. Yeah, I realize. Anywhere where I can find redwort, this is just a little encapsulation of the biome. And redwort is damn near everywhere. Cool that I found it for the first time in there, though. Rising temperatures detected in mineral-rich fissure below. They actually attach around the vents. Very cool. Okay, so now all we need to find is rooting pustule, whatever, and I bet you it's going to be at a deeper depth. I bet you everywhere I go, I'm just going to see spiral plant constantly now. It was coming off with every whack, wasn't it? So I can't even farm it. Like, I can't plant it. Oh yeah, right, I can eat those. Oh, I can! Okay.
There's some wreckage for me. There gotta be wreckage around here somewhere. Look at all the fishy my trap has caught. Pop it in there, too. So let us make a new bed. We need all, we can put all but two of them in. New. You're Newt Fish. I'll replant that there after. Ruby. Uh, enameled glass is diamond. A glass. Two glass and diamond. Take my money, you sexy water beard. Welcome, Darth Mole. How are you? And thank you very much for the resub. Love having you at the table. How are you on this wonderful Monday? What else do I need? Oh, lead! Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Beat up, tired, and ready to get home in two days. Other than that, not bad. Right on. I'm doing well. I need lead, though. And I don't think we're gonna see any just- Oh my god. Has your Ananite crystal on the radar? Uh, ruby quartz, nickel, metal fragments, lithium, limestone, glow sack, galena outcrop. More fragments on the radar. see what I need there. Where's my mineral scanner? Five. Don't get poisoned. Yeah, good advice. Oh, Galena outcrop is what I need. Okay. Scan for that. Yeah. So it should be good. Yeah.
Fifteen five for those. Well, three, huh? The horseshoe uh, shrub is actually better than the Chinese potatoes. How do you like that? You know what? I'm gonna leave four batteries in that. I'm just gonna leave them in there. And take those two with me. And I've created two inventory spots. It's a battery holder. How do you like that? Creative solutions for the modern world. Waterbeard certainly loves his nuts. I do. I do indeed. They're a fantastic snack. Often high in protein. Though the best nut for protein isn't even a nut. That was a cool looking creature. Got me high, I'm tripping out. <laughs> Very much my kind of creature, you are correct. Stop giving me titanium. Come on. Yeah. There's more lead. Hey, whale boy. I think I was invisible. He was invisible to me the entire time that I was high on his gaze. High player getting high in game, yeah. It's only fair, right? When you put it that way, you're right, I should. Come back! I'm hungry! Om nom nom nom. Dab-a-do. Dubitably. Warning. Always. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. 
Unless it just got in my way and I didn't see it, and then it's its own fault. Whew. Cold up there. I'm going back down here. I do my best. They straight up swim in front of me sometimes. Literally jumping out in front of me. Oh, shove off. Hey, glow whale. You have a responsibility. Oh no, I hate responsibility. Right, you be right back. I'll do my best to avoid that responsibility you've given me. Game seems to have an issue with pieces spawning in or drifting into where they can't be reached. Me alone. Stop with the titanium. Responsibility is a big responsibility. Truer words have never been spoken. That is almost as eloquent as one of my favorite Strapping Young Lad albums. And that album would be heavy as a really heavy thing. Ah. Lead is also what we needed for the sleeper cab, so once we've done this, we can do the sleeper cab. Okay, you're, you're probably a long ways away. Get away from my truck. You can see all the plankton floating around in the water here from the lilies spawning. That's probably why the glow whales are here. That's that same one. Let's get these three and then we can head up over there. Yes, lead. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Jesus! What are you doing here? Oh, you're a squid shark. I thought you were someone else. Get out of here, squid shark. I thought it was the big, uh, crustacean-y dude. I'm like, what are you doing over here? That's why those mesmerizing things are so, uh, strong with their effects, because they live around all these terrible predators all the time. They have to be. Oh shit, 30 seconds of oxygen. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Pretty nice day up here. Oh, come on, game. Give me the... Yes. For all that work, you didn't even give me a... This one's like right inside. Not reaching that one. And with that one. And you, okay. You're an unharvestable node, I understand. here. Okay, lead. How much do I have? Got a decent amount. Not a fantastic amount, but it's a decent amount. Jerk, you leave me alone. Need to get a stasis rifle. This content is highly pornographic, I agree. Rated crustacean and up.
Look how much drift there is in some of these pieces. If they're on this side, they're inside. Resource drift is a very bad thing. When it makes your resources unharvestable in a game about gathering, probably a bad one. These are both inside of it, right? Gotta watch District 9 again. It was a good movie. It was a good one. One of those better than they better than I expected movies. Anyway, we've got enough lead for that, and that, and that, and more. Yeah, you're in a cave somewhere, aren't you? Bet there's interesting stuff in that cave. That's a big one. Yeah, no, that's those guys. Alright, so let's make a sleeping module. Rearrange our truck. Make... Can't do grappling arms yet, need to find the... other stuff, but progression tells me that this rooting stuff is going to be deeper. There we go. Okay. We may need more storage after this. Oh, I need more quartz, apparently. Getting low on quartz. I don't have my diamond. Uh, two diamond. Is here. Synthetic fibers. We need the depth module from the C truck. Default depth is 150 on it, I'm pretty sure. Fresh depth now 150, okay. We good. Pipe time! 
Hype time. No, no, oh yeah, is it here? Bronze suit depth mark one. Sea truck depth mark two. We get to take three things off of our blueprint screen. What's new in here? A parallel processing unit, which is just an electronics component. Synthetic fibers. Lithium and a titanium ingot. Three lead. No, no, no. No, no, no. Get back in there. Seven hundred meters. And I'm going to keep three storage, because that's just kind of nice. That's just kind of nice. Six fifty. Oh, yes. Sleeper component is what I was making. I went to get lead, and then I accidentally opened the prawn suit, and then I forgot what I was doing. Open storage. Do need quartz on my next trip. I can cross lead off the list, though. I think we're good on lead for a bit. I think I need more storage. What do you think? More hoarding is more gooder? Okay. Storage and dabs. Storage and dabs. Dank requests storage and dabs. Nanu nanu, Mr. Lowe! It's like magic. We say dabs and Lowe's like, hey, I'm here! Quartz, lead, and nickel, since I don't seem to have a lot of either of them. I need three lead, though. Perfect. Now let's deal with this while we're here. How do you like my garden? Isn't it pretty? I hear if you say dabs three times into a mirror in a pitch black room, it'll summon low. But it only took once. It's just, just, just one time and he was like, yeah, I'm here. What's up? You got dabs? Someone say dabs?
One, two, three. What? Four. There. There. All the way to the top. We got another part for the truck, and I'm taking a dab while it builds. Ha ha ha. Uh oh. It's nighttime. Should we wait till daytime to make the truck? Do you want me to see, do you want to see me build it in the daytime? Is that a thing? Could build a bedroom. Off stream has different stipulations. I understand. I understand. Minus 1.7, hull base strength to 2.7. Pookie? Did a wild Pookie appear? I don't know how how attentive she may be. She's she's working on other stuff right now. Why can't I make a tunnel to it? What is that building? Multi-purpose room. I don't know why it won't let me build there. But it won't. Oh, right. Because of the potential blocking of, uh... The pieces. That's because of... There we go. The other one was because of the water filter, I think? We'll put it here. Okay, we can decorate our room. Uh, what kind of bed do we like? I think I kind of like this one or the basic one. The basic's a double. Fluid intake immediately. All right, all right. Psst, you're thirsty. Pookie's been addicted to Animal Crossing again. That's where she is. She's stuck there. Vital signs stabilizing.
No! Not what I meant to do. What happens as you are sleeping? I was being pulled from a logical world to a logical world, with you at the center of them. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? It can be. We can experience impossible joy, and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable thing. I therefore hope you have many more of those. Mainly for my own safety. <laughs> you better be scared. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. Uh, one, two, that's three usually, light, four. Tell her I miss her and hope she had a great Monday. I think she heard me say it for you. Put a picture frame in here, a bed, a fridge. What are the actual useful things we can put in? An aquarium. Some planters. Jukebox speaker. I'm sure Needlack would vote for that one. Alright. We built the... No, we did not build the sleeper fragment. We were waiting till daytime. Needlack is lurking away playing multiplayer games. Enjoy the truck build. Even though I can't do it yet because I used one of the material I need. No, there you go. Yep, there you go. Good, good. Do it. Do it. Welcome aboard, Captain. There we go. Okay. No. Where did it go? Was it up here? Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Get out of there. Get out of there. Now all we need is benzene for grappler arms, and for benzene we need the root thing, but we got all that extra depth. We got tons of explor exploratin' to do. Alright, enjoy the sea cab. How big are you? Oh, you're a cute little thing, aren't you? You're just a cute little thing! The little truck that could, but just barely.
and rage, I noticed this. I learned this. This is how they made it work. See the little handle on it? You do this. Isn't that super handy? A handy handle. Rage hasn't said anything for a minute. I'm guessing he's AFK doing something. Probably enjoy enjoying his drink. Enjoying the dreck out of the drink. Dracula drink. Come on, docking module. We're going over here now. Comes with a jukebox, can set a pitcher, there's a sleeper for it, can see out the roof, and that's it. Is there a game like this, but where you are on Mars, Surviving Mars? There is a game called Surviving Mars, but it's nothing like this. And by nothing like this, I mean completely, absolutely, positively, zero resemblance to this at all. Well, you see, they did, uh... I'm not a big fan of the Chinese potato anymore, by the way. It's... It's not cutting it. Prefer in the horseshoe. But, uh... They did a game where it's space instead of water, right? I played it. Breath Edge. And it turns out it doesn't translate to space the same way it translates to water. And the beginning of the game suffers greatly for it. Like, greatly. The beginning of the game is terrible. Because of it. And I don't know how I would work around it. Because the problem is, in space... No, not the same company. Different teams entirely. And it really showed. So here's the thing, right? You can get oxygen at the surface. So if I only have 60 seconds of oxygen available to me at the beginning of the game, then I can go down 30 seconds and up 30 seconds without dying perfectly optimally. Yeah, I didn't consider that either until I played the space one, because I was like, Subnautica in space? It's gonna be amazing! And then all of a sudden, what ends up happening is you're just trapped in this little tiny circle forever, just going, get some stuff, come back, get some stuff, come back, get some stuff, come back. 
with Subnautica, because of the surface, you can travel, right? And you can, like, almost like snorkeling and go around and see different biomes and explore little caves and come up for air at different places. And it completely changes the pace of the beginning of the game. I was so surprised at how different it was. So surprised. Lithium, five titanium, four diamond. I guess No Man's Sky kind of fills the void slash gives the same feel regardless. No, you can do water exploration in No Man's Sky, but it's not quite the same because it's procedurally generated rather than a curated environment. This is a highly curated, well-developed, play-tested over and over and over again environment where things are laid out perfectly to allow you to discover and explore and, and create it in order to give you that aha feeling, you know? Because they've put it there, it's there. Getting some bugs there. Getting confused on the state of these plants, too. Thinks the Chinese potatoes are still there, but they're not. I want to plant more horseshoe shrub. So I can find something better. I liked the melons that I used to get. They were really good. Juicy. Kept my water up. So kind of guided versus open world, but this is a guided open world. Because this is still open world. Right? You're not limited at all. You can go anywhere and explore. They just put lots of stuff at the right places so that no matter which way you progress, you find the things you need if you're paying attention and looking. And if you miss it, it's at a bunch of places. So if you keep exploring what's available to you, you should find it. But it goes through a lot of playtesting. You cannot create that experience procedurally. So what No Man's Sky does is they just say, well, here's a plane, go planet to planet and find one that you want to explore. But it, it takes away a lot of the effort because you just get a plane right away and you can fly around. Fun, but not a lot of effort. And that's fine for the casual market, you know, um, Skyrim has already proved that there is absolutely a market for games that you don't have to try at. You know, Fallout 3 and 4 fall right into that market. Final Fantasy 15 did just fine. Not a game that requires any effort or thought. Alright, so we have Architect Body Cache. Nice and deep we can get to now. Is that the other deep one that I couldn't get to? I think I already got to that one. Yeah. Yeah, I did. That one's not as deep. But we have the architect body cache down there. Uh, I've just color-coded them myself. Orange is my prawn suit, my snow fox, my sea truck. Green is my drop pod, my control room, 
the artifact points, like my key base and like progress items. Blue beacons are the science stations left behind. The red one was for the big boy. No, it's just so you can code them yourself. I want the devs to make another Subnautica, but instead of going everywhere underwater, you progress on land downward into absurdly deep caves. But... It lacks the resistance of water. You know, like, there's nothing stopping you from just instantly going straight down. It's not like you need to build a lot of new things to... ...to go through, unless you're building, like, digging tools and stuff in order to proceed through different types of terrain that blocks your path. made for it. As you go down, your only power source is on the surface. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. So you're saying, like, here's a new biome for sure. Something we haven't seen before. Like eventually the light that you have goes out and you can't see anymore and you need to turn back before the light goes out. Come back and recharge. Flowering spores! I need these! It would be like oxygen. Okay, I'm with you now. I'm with you now. I like this idea. I see where you're going. Yeah, you could absolutely make that work. You know what? I don't need that many. Oops. Game balance. Game would be super boring if you... Your body could never leave the thing. I don't really need Ruby, but... Build upgrades to extend power transfer downward and build some sort of elevator. Yep, yep. I'm just gonna take a bunch of these since it's needed for the What do we have down here? Hello. Aren't you, uh... Grand Cotton Anemone. You gonna sting me? Hmm. You're not gonna sting me. 
I took a couple seeds for the mushrooms, so we can grow those. Quartz? I actually need quartz. I don't need diamond. Take it anyway. I do use a fair bit of diamond. Take it when I see it, but I need quartz. The goal is to reach the planet's core to rip off the movie The Core. Okay, I'm out. What the? Oh, those damn things. No, no, get, get, get off me. Jerk. <laughs> Spinner fish. My truck's starting to look like a truck. No. I refuse to look. Nope. Pretty nice biome, it's pretty friendly. Not like a lot of things trying to eat me or anything here. Quartz there. Flowering spore. Oh! Full inventory. Let me just do something about that. But the thing that grabbed your arm and the other thing that tried to PCP you. Now, the thing that grabs your arm is annoying and kind of scares you, but they're not very lethal or anything, and the other one just gets me high. Oh, whatever. It doesn't hurt me. It just, just freaks me out so that I can't attack it. What do we have here? Is this... Oh, titanium. The shadowing. I was hoping it would be nickel. There's a little bit of everything down here, huh? Titanium. down here oh yes considerable down here all right I 
This is where we prawn suit. You imagine if this was an MMO and everyone had to fight over the nodes, like in WoW. It wouldn't be fun anymore. Especially if it was non-combative. Because the whole point of the game is to be non-combative. Everybody would just be trying to knife each other or stasis rifle each other so that they can freeze them long enough to steal their node. There we go. Thank you. I think I have enough of those flowering spores now. Oh! Squid shark's down here, huh? Oh my! Had to say the area was safe. Ninety quarts. In a prawn suit, squid sharks are nothing to worry about, at least. Not much is anything to worry about in a prawn suit. Yeah, I'll take diamond. Where did that... Hmm, how to get there, huh? Things are going pretty well. You didn't like that, did ya? I can't be this deep without them. I can't be this deep without them. You know where I found my first spiral clippings? Inside the Vent Guardian. Oh, pretty. Me too. Me too. Ancient ornamental plant. Yes, yes you are, huh? 
You're you're welcome. I'm confused. Drink the water. It's got to be it's got to be safe here. Just drink it. I thought I was supposed to find a piece of his body here. This is body is the planet. Oh, I see. I'm not always necessarily looking at chat right at the time that I say something either. But it's entirely possible that something be said and I not realize at that moment. Do I need to bring the locker down there? Is this what I have to do? Do I need to bring the locker with me when I come down here? It should be more than just this little plant place, right? supposed to be the architect's body cache. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. This skeleton has so many times. Able to handle heavy forces. I got thrown from my new phone. Are you okay, Ellen? It is not often that I gaze upon the phone of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacteria spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. I love the bronze suit, and the bronze suit loves me. We can go build grappling arms for it now. That's gonna be fun. Nickel? Don't punch it. Pick it up. And any quartz. No oh, inventory full. Where'd the quartz go? Right there. Always a good haul with the prawn suit, huh? I'm gonna need to build more storage when I get back. Heading to bed, sleep well when you get there, keep having fun. Thank you very much, Mole. You have a fantastic sleep. I hope you feel better tomorrow, and I'll see you soon. Night and night. Give me drugs. Give me drugs. Oh, I killed it. 
Sleepy subs. Nighty night mole. Sleep well. Shy guy, the wolf. Reverend Elk. Orca, welcome to the table. Seek fluid intake immediately. Oh my. Vital signs stabilizing. Fried chicken for breakfast. I do like that one. Welcome to the table as well. I wasn't gonna call you out because I haven't seen you. Oh my mole! Over the top! Thank you so much for the tier three gift sub for Needlack. Needlack, enjoy your golden table and your cushy chair at the table. Hey, Pseudo, how's it going, buddy? How's your Monday? Eh... Uh, yeah, I'm almost there. It's a Monday. My bot- why, why is my bot not running? What the, what the heck? How did my bot stop running? Yeah, no worries. You know there's no obligation. I don't expect anything. As long as you're here and enjoy yourself, I'm happy. You told me the bot wasn't a bit ago and I missed it. I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. You can purr now, Mole. No, but I want these emotes. I'm glad. I'm glad you like the emotes. I got it going for you in time, at least. Before you, there you go. There's the purrs. Everybody can purr. Everybody's happy. I apologize. I'm so engrossed with the ocean, I forgot about... Or not forgot, but didn't realize the bot. Somehow turned off. Because it was certainly on when I started. I even thought about restarting it and was like, mm, now nah, let it keep running. To seed. I'm honestly about to drop diamond for quartz. Okay, we full. Let's go. Ooh, that's stiff. Yeah, I came up a new hole, but we still got our way back to the sea truck. What's up, little sea truck? Uh, what's the middle module? That's the sleeping compartment. So it's a bed, a jukebox for your truck. And a picture frame. <laughs> Fucking jukebox! <laughs> oh, your reaction made it all worth it. Get, get, get. It's just a... It's a little loud. It's a little loud, honestly. 
I'm gonna need to turn you down a bit more. Can't actually play with the EQ itself. So now Needlax building himself a sleeper compartment, is he? I wonder if you built two sea trucks, could you put one at each end? I guess you probably could. I wonder if you could just connect two together, back and forth. Tempted to build another one and test it. Back and forth forever. And then you just need a multiplayer mod and you can do tug of wars. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I need uh Oh. I need to not take a wrong turn. I want you. I want you. I need a new cabinet for you. Okay. Diamond. Mm. I may have the munchies, but I smell something delicious. Sometimes I feel bad putting my GPU through 4K renders, but only sometimes. <laughs> I mean, it's just doing what GPUs were built to do, right? By the way, you can eat these too. Oh, never mind. I thought you could. I could have sworn I ate one. Oh well. The thing, it happens. Things get eaten. Oh, no, I put it in my reactor. That's what I did with it. No. That's why it popped up before. Because I accidentally planted them again. Okay, I understand what's happened. By the way, you can eat those, these too. Take a giant bite of my 
Reactor is like eating, but outsourced. <laughs> kind of, yeah. I can't eat this, you eat it for me. I'm gonna turn it into something edible. And these root pustules go in here for some, uh, some long time energy. They work great. Just so you know. So I need two ribbon plant. Four of those. Oh, I got lots of quartz in here, don't I? Gubber revamping power gen so that bio were useful. That's good. I'll pop the uranium in here. Do I have prawn suit drill arm? I should probably go back in the prawn suit. And then we'll make a grapple arm. And we can go two drill arms or a drill arm and a grapple arm. And everything on our build list is checked off. How do you like that? Yeah, I remember I barely used them in the first one. And I built a second one at my first base in this one, so yeah. Did a good job rebalancing the uh, progression. It's really a balancing of the progression. That, uh... Because like, before, by the time I really needed much power, period, I had already reached... More water. There we go. Uh, I had already reached nuclear. And, like, that was the first real big base I set up. Probably partly because that was what made it viable. I guess I only needed one of these. I'm only making one grappling arm. Oh well, I'll make a second one. Oh wait, do I have a wiring kit already? Yeah. But it's an advanced wiring kit I need, okay. Don't know, I have copper wire already. I need a piece of gold. Two shells. Oh, hey, I can make a... Uh, oh, that's a parallel processing unit. Okay. Good of not using my silver. Here for the grappling arm. Okay. So what do we theoretically need next? Don't even think I've seen the blueprints for what I need next. I think that's how far we have to go now. I need magnetite. We haven't found an aquarium module yet. It's 
Sea Truck Mark II, Sea Truck Mark III, uh, Kyanite. So I need Kyanite next. That's my next depth thing. That means we're getting pretty deep already. Headlamp needs ion batteries. I wish I could make ion batteries. Okay, so late game when you start finding ion batteries, then I could see the recyclotron being worth it to take them apart for the ion cubes when you need them. Kyanite, polyaniline, hydrochloric acid and gold, cotton anemone and salt. I've got all that. Okay. Architect skeleton, polyaniline, diamond, ingot, no problem. I guess it wants me to craft it now. Let's just craft it now. We can put him in his own private locker. <coughs> Can't jump over it. Alright. We got a grappling arm. We got a legit prawn suit now. done growing yet. That's my problem. I could sleep. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because even this harvest, I'm only going to get, I think, one of them out of? So let's take a quick look at the uh, ingredients again here. I need one polyaniline. I need three. And there's no matter what I do, I could not get enough. So I just gotta chop them all up for the best a couple times. Go. <laughs> Whole bunch. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff, and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos. How to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face, and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set a picnic there and said I need to relax. 
He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes. But the craziest part, he managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. We're taking the prawn suit by itself. Hello, Vent Guardian. How you doing? Ooh, are you what I think you are? No. Thermal. I guess it's not that deep. Yeah, it's only 350 meters. Okay. If that was like 600 meters, then that would be what I think it is. Oh my. Why aren't you showing on my list? Can't scan you. Someone had a thermal plant set up here. Hello. Hello. 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful... <laughs> and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void, just me and ocean, nothing else. It's not that I wanted, liked killing things. It's just that sometimes what you need is inside another thing's rib cage. Oh, <laughs> you're playing some Doom, are ya? I agree, Reverend Elk. I agree. Fantastic line. Might as well grab some lithium and uranium while I'm down here. Uranite. See some fragments up there.
There's one down there, one down there, two up there. Then we go for this deeper one down here again. Oh, it's just another fragment. That's fine. Get them scanned, get them out of the way. Then we can't run into them anymore. There's probably another one there. Someone had thermal plants all over this area, huh? Ooh, lithium. Grab some more diamond. Bent a bunch of it on the drills. First, I'll drop my whole load if I find some magnetite. How's your Monday evening, Reverend Elk? How are you? Are you enjoying the Subnautica? Have you played it yourself? Love Mondays. Well, that's a rarity. But I'm glad to hear it. We found a whole bunch more fragments. Scanner's not fast. You do play this game, but just explore creatively. And it's absolutely a valid way to play this game. I think they want to make sure you can use thermal plants by this point. Maybe we should go build some more thermal plants. We've got the network built to our base. I totally understand. That's why I stream. Now I've made time to play games. It's kind of lovely. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Modding and gaming. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's always nice to hear from you. Oh my, my inventory's full. Okay. You'll stick to watching me. I'm totally okay with that. I'm glad you enjoy it. Makes, literally makes what I do worth it.
Okay, I'm on a quest to scan every fragment in scan range of my base. That's the goal. Nope! Nope! High enough! Living vicariously through my good man. What are you laughing at? Why is that funny? all the fragments because goddamn scan room spam shut up that's not why you don't know me Not doing it for titanium because your inventory's full. This is true. Come on, there you go. There's copper just right there if I ever need it. The truck's starting to look like a truck, and I love it. Well, Jeff Plays Guitar did another cover in the style of Doom Eternal. Made me need to play some. Uh, noticing what slowdown? The horsepower module or the thrust module? The thrust is a boost of speed and then there's also a horsepower module that just gives it more power. And yeah, I totally got the horsepower module. It's installed. Rest assured, when I saw that there was a horsepower module, we installed it. Why do I have a de decomposing triops in my inventory? Here you go. My decomposing triops. What am I doing? Unloading the prawn suit? In you- oh! <laughs> so it does slow down considerably as you go, uh, heavier? Or longer? Three or four modules without the HP upgrade, slower than the player's base speed. RIP. If anyone wonders why I'm making a whole bunch of ingots, I know I'm going to need them eventually. One day, they're going to be used, and it compresses five down to one. Think of it as, like, zip archiving. It's just really hard to uncompress these ones. They're really compressed. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. That's all that matters. <laughs> the 
go this one. No, you're full. I hate you. Stop being full. I'm gonna move you all. No, I don't have it yet. I still need a piece for it. Yeah, I want one. I'm absolutely building one as soon as I can. Trust me. Oh, pick him. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I guess nutrient blocks would probably power it for a long time. It looks zany, you won't say more. Definitely want to see me try it. Have I grown a nut? No. No nuts growing. I guess creature eggs would probably be... Pretty... Pretty good, uh, source. Tables, tables everywhere. I love it. I see a whole heck of a collection of fragments to scan. We're going deep, boys. Prawn Hub is going to require more than just the tip. No, we need magnetite to get another one. I built a single upgrade with the first load of magnetite I had, but then I used the rest of it on other things. Because magnetite has many valuable uses more than just upgrading the range of the scanner. So many thermal f plant fragments. Is it trying to tell us that the correct way to build thermal fra thermal plants is everywhere? <laughs> By the way, when you make thermal plants, don't make one, make 30. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Scan all 200 thermal plant fragments. Oof. Get off of my mini-map. You're going in the reactor.
Have you seen what happens when I get high, Rage? Were you here for that? Did anybody miss getting high from those things? They have, like, PCP ray. I'm freaking out, man! You are freaking out, man! Yeah. I may have been there once or twice. It should. I think it actually should. I You you do tend to use more oxygen under situations like that. Nope, 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 not again. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Oh no. Remaining. Oh, phew, just made it. It's like weird, that animal is having a seizure and I didn't even drug it yet. <laughs> I guess I should stop. I seem to have got them all. There's a modder working to unlock buildings so you can make a base inside a vent guardian. Yeah, it probably was. Can just fit a big room in there, huh? Just, just recharge and we'll be up in a sec. We're going now. Right now. Come on, prawn suit. Get up. What? Well, the hot mineral water that comes out of that isn't just mineral water. It's, it's super, super rich in all sorts of different nutrients. That's why there's so much life that forms around them in our world, so it's, it's totally believable. Totally believable that large creatures would grow to capitalize on such an advantage. The micro and plant life grow inside its gut on the nutrients and the big vent guardian in turn gets to collect nutrients from plants, etc. Like gut bacteria digesting the stuff out our stomach doesn't. Yep. Yep. They are clearly paying attention in their biology class when they wrote this game. Okay. 
So what do we need now? Oh, we just need to craft the skeleton. So we started scanning fragments to kill time. And then we need these. Okay. Yep. Cannabis honey and peanut butter sandwich does sound pretty delicious. Not gonna lie, that does sound pretty delicious. Okay, what am I building here? Hydrochloric acid for a polyaniline. So I can build the lungs. The lungs are gonna need... Diamond? No. Diamond's over here now? Where has diamond gone? Here it is. And... One of you, I think two of you, yep, it's that, yeah, I'll take this all from over here, grab a water too. We got some nice water supply now. That allows us to make hydrochloric acid. Gold is over here somewhere, yes. Polyaniline. Okay, and where do I craft the... Oh. Is it... Is that what this is for? No, you can't use that here. Gotta get pollen from weed plants. Right on. That sounds tasty. Where do I build it? I guess I don't know yet, do I? Clearly I can't build it yet. Mm, I doubt it. It would be under the mobile vehicle bay heading at that point, I'd imagine. It's kind of under its own heading. I'm imagining it's going to be something kind of unique and special. Sure glad whatever that is isn't attacking my base. Negative. Looks like there are no fragments left within range. Don't really need nickel. Yep. We have we have destroyed all of the fragments within range. Okay, so let's take a look at I was. If 
500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. Oh, I already one heard this one. Gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. <laughs> I love I that line. That just as much the next time. Terrifying creature, and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by All watery void. Just me and ocean. Nothing else. New Leviathan Vent Garden. Bloidable Chinese potato plant flowering spores. Yeah. Gel sacks were growing. Reaper wine glass. Unusual oversized single celled organism made of three parts the rhizoid or root leg root system in stock in the cap. Single nucleus is located in the rhizo. This means that if the bulbous cap is removed or devoured by aquatic fauna, it will slowly grow a new cap. Okay. Lily pad, spiral plant. That's exploitable. It's a valuable one. Why is it not under exploitable, huh? Huh? I guess we can build a couple more thermal plants. Let's do that. We got lots of resources now. Are they? <laughs> okay. Still no magnetite within scan range. Okay. So let's take a look at the map. Been to Delta Station. Been to Phi Robotics. There's probably more around Phi Robotics. That's kind of where I found my... Okay. We're going Phi. Oh shit. It's late. That sucks. <laughs> Fabricator, two, two copper, two quartz. The door, how big is it? Bulkhead, base pieces, hatch. This has to be a hatch. Yeah. Canium and quartz.
Thing's doing its job, huh? Welcome aboard, Captain. Got the body cash. We want Snow Fox location, I guess. Zero entrance, Delta Station Dock, Delta Station Dock. Oh jeez. There we go. Yeah. I don't know why the prawn suit's fully charged. Oh, it charges through the docking bay. So it must use the power from the truck. I guess I could have just swapped it for the one I have on me. Oh, the moon pool charges. Okay. I gotcha. Makes sense. Let's take another one with us, just in case the worst happens. You don't scare me in my sea truck. I feel like this is one of those games where you can just accidentally play it for 24 hours. Yup. Can confirm. Exactly that type of game. Cosmotic this morning. That's what he did. Got it yesterday and played for 16 hours. Oh wow, that, okay. Well, you were biting me. <laughs> I didn't know that you would just die. <laughs> He said he meant to play for 12. Me think somebody skipped four hours of sleep. That's a shame. I quite enjoy sleep. Not the first time that guy bothered you, apparently. Yeah. He did it to himself. You all saw it. How was I stuck on there? Where's my... Oh shit. 
This is the first base. This is this is not the base I wanted. I don't think I ever need to come back to Delta Station for anything. Why are here? You get out get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I do love the little tree sea truck indicator. As I'm starting to get more units, it's starting to look even better. Need to get us an aquarium. An underwater aquarium. Really, I just need tech at this point. I need more things to build. Which means we need to find progression. Or magnetite. Magnetite's also progression. I know where I found some. It's not a reliably sustainable source, but I found some there. Hey, I've been here. Clearly been here. Those are open chests. I think you only did one. No, I did them both. Oh, right, right, right. There is one more. It just didn't show up on my list of markers anymore, did it? I bet you there's, I bet you there's magnetite in that volcano. Let's do that. Uh, I've got all the gear on me. Let's go do this real quick. We're only 300 away. And we can go do that tomorrow. Little uh, jellies, the little eye jelly. Sorry. Seek fluid intake. Oh. These away. I should build it over here if I'm going to start parking over there more.
Let's build a little mini base. What am I looking for? Exterior base, multi-purpose room. Yes, build it 20 feet in the air. It'll be very hard to get to is what will happen. Warning, emergency power only. I don't know, Oxygen I've never done it before. Offline. Wiring kit and lubricant, huh? We can bring it next time. Seek fluid intake immediately. I guess if there's no power, I won't be able to use the... Oh yeah, right, fluid intake. Um, just jump on the bike and find some fruit. Be some in the cave up ahead. Cave? No, this cave over here. Yeah, here we go. Flimsy. 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 Vital signs stabilizing. Those are the go-to. Those peppers kick butt, huh? I just got so much water from that. Oh yeah, 1515. Okay. We're bringing one of these back with us. Never realized how good they were. We'll leave two nuts and two peppers up. Interior fabricator. Unpowered. Next time. Next time, we'll build power. Doesn't actually attach to this thing at all? No? No snappy?
Keeps the uh, user warm, right? Now it's docked right at this, so we can easily get back. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Bad me. Leaving too early. All excited about a fever pepper that you I want to plant. want to put uh, interior pieces, no interior modules, wall locker, recite it. And in the wall locker, we want to put the penguin, the remote. We'll bring our cold hood that we can put in here. I think that's it that we want to stay here. I think that's good. This would be a fine little base for now. For the big furry guys, you mean? I do not have any flares, but I do have a ton of uh, sulfur. Yeah, and they, those creatures don't like the, the light, right? So you throw it and they run away. That's the idea. While the flare is burning, they won't come around. Sorry, fish. Yeah, it says they don't like bright light. I was using my flashlight. Shining it in their face. It wasn't super effective. I don't know if I thought to try that. Eh, bright light, flashlight, right? First place my mind went. Fine. Uh, I couldn't tell. It seemed to work at first, but then definitely didn't work later. Yeah, I agree. Maybe it's programmed to work for a little bit and then stop working. Like they like shy away at first, but then quickly realize that it's not a big deal.
Uh, yeah, I didn't even take anything out of that, did I? Or put anything into that. Don't accidentally plant your, try to plant your pepper out here. I don't think it'd let me. Two more. Perfect. Got a whole little garden of the good stuff there, huh? Yes, there we go. These ones do health. These ones do a lot more H2O. Okay, made room. Okay, so when I go there, I'm going to want to take... This. These. Because they can be mixed with wa uh, snow. EVGA system seems borked. They have now sent me a second power link for elite membership. That happens fairly regularly. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's just a... That's a mistake that happens. Somebody hit the wrong button. That's what it is. Someone hit the wrong button. We look for creature eggs and start sticking them in our bioreactor. But I think these uh, fever peppers are going to be a nice touch for the bioreactor. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put three fever eggs, or fever uh, pepper bushes. You can raise the eggs in an aquarium, man, and stick the fish. Yeah, I could. But I'm not a monster, so I try to go vegan. I'm a, I'm a vegan-powered... Uh, Peepers are super nutritive, and once you get... Yeah, peepers aren't a bad idea to use. They are super nutritive. They're good eating, too. I guess it's kind of nice to just have it around so you can pull them out whenever you need. You like that?
Could add some like plants to it too. Throw a little uh, fever tree in here. Little fever plant. Have them all over the place. Right on. That's a nice touch for merch. Okay, I think we're pretty set up. We're going where tomorrow? Let's leave it on. Turn you off so I don't go back there. I got the body cache. I think it's that one. Yeah. PK-8. Kinda want the cat, but income. I understand. I like this one too. I want that. Look at that cargo bay. 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 We would not we need that. We need the cargo bay. Uh, Needlack, one final question for you. I need to know. Can you stack the horsepower modules on the truck? Is it, a, is it an additive thing? Or is it just if it has this module, it is less affected by... No stacking HP. Oh, I do have it already, but... <laughs>